Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're going to talk about a game that I have been following for quite some time now, and I even talked to one of the developers of the game, so I decided to feature it on the channel because it definitely has potential to be something good. Today we're going to talk about Bleak Fate Forsaken. Now, keep in mind, I am not paid to advertise this, so whatever I say comes from me. Now, the first thing you probably notice with the movement and the combat is that this is a Souls-like game putting you in a very dark world with dangerous enemies that can kill you in an instant. Also, the footage you are looking at is an early version, so this exclusive pre-alpha footage is provided by the team behind the game. Now, what is Bleak Fate? This is a third-person, open-world survival horror action RPG set in a universe that you never experienced before. You play as one of the Forsaken, the last frontier of humanity against the growing horrors of the Omnistructure. As you find yourself stranded in a faraway outpost, you must adapt in order to survive. The world won't wait for you though, you must venture into the unknown. Again, the idea seems interesting, you washing up somewhere and fighting for your survival, getting better gear over time, fighting dangerous enemies along the way, and one thing I like is the armor and weapons design, also enemies look really cool. They definitely look like they came out of a nightmare and I love this uh, combination of uh, cyberpunk, steampunk and this dark fantasy. One thing that I'm looking forward to is the lore. Hopefully we get detailed information about enemies and the universe around us and also the developers uh, promise they will include a vast lore into the game. They also said that enemies will be tough to beat and bosses will offer a range of attacks for you to fight against. You will be able to use swords, bows, axes and I think that I even saw a protagonist carry two swords at the same time. Now when it comes to release dates and platforms, keep in mind Archangel Studios, the team behind this, is a two developer team with a dream to create a good game and honestly what they created looks like it's been made by more people, so huge plus for that. Uh, the game is coming out so far only on PC, they are aiming for a fourth quarter of 2019 for early access and the full release for the first or second quarter of 2020. Now to go back to the Forsaken, you belong to a legion of hunters condemned to protect the last remnants of humanity. A bleak fate is a mix between dark fantasy and cyberpunk, as I said. Uh, they estimate around 30 plus hours of content, a deep class system and procedural AI system that ensures that no playthrough is ever the same. Definitely sounds gripping. That is also combined with brutal combat, it's fast, responsive and unforgiving. As it is in Souls-like games, every fight could be your last. I also wonder how the save system is going to look like, especially because the game is all about survival and brutal combat. Um, it also has a stealth system implemented, so you won't be able to fight all enemies. And some portions of the map, even though they said it is open world, but some portions of the map are going to be a bit linear, to actually just, uh, you know, navigate the story and uh, and the main, uh, main mission. But at the same time, most of the stuff you see in the game is going to be about you trying to navigate your way through those enemies. And some you will fight, but uh, some you will have to avoid because they will be too hard for you to kill. Because at the same time, this is a survival game. It also seems that the ecosystem in the game is going to change, some AI groups in the game will evolve and change. For example, an apex predator from your last playthrough might have already died out in this playthrough and you never fight it again. Through that they ensure replayability value. Also when you start you pick up a class, you upgrade your stats, augment your character, create equipment, so some form of crafting will be in the game. And you have to stay healthy, you will have to stay away from plagues and use environment to your advantage. Now one thing I did notice are animations and some FPS drops, but keep in mind this is a pre-alpha work in progress footage. And they are currently running a Kickstarter campaign, um, the money gathered there is going to go into further development and polishing and I was promised by one of the developers that um, they will work a lot on animations and polishing those animations because if you have a brutal combat in a game which is not forgiving everything else needs to be done well because if a game is stopping you from actually doing something and that game is hard 
ah, it's not good, but um, they promise they will work on that so that the end product will actually be satisfying because they're re definitely aiming for you. When you go into the game, you're actually going to enjoy it, so hopefully that's going to happen. Now, so far, they gathered $17,000. They're aiming for 30 k which is realistic, and the campaign still has 22 days to go. They do have stretch goals. We shall see uh, to what extent this goes, but so far, this is what we know about the game. If you do want me to make more videos about it, tell me down below. Now, one thing which is definitely interesting when it comes to combat is that you will have roll and you will have um, dash ability. Now, you will also have parries, counters, executions, something that uh, we got used to from previous games like Dark Souls and Bloodborne. So hopefully, hopefully those things are going to be satisfying. Now, so far, like what I've been gathering from combat, especially because this is work in progress, um, those hits are deadly, especially I like when he hits an enemy and like all the sparks around him. Um, I, I definitely want to play this. I'm certain that in the future we will also get a chance to do that, so I will be able to present it to you guys. But uh, yeah, so far that's everything we know. Also, I left all the links down below, check them out, and also smash that like and subscribe button for more gaming news and definitely more around this game. Join our amazing community on Twitter and Discord, and as always, stay classy everyone. Bye bye.